going on? It's complicated. Oh, is it? Yeah, really. And I became a thicky when exactly? That's not what I meant. Leanne has just practically blanked me. I had a falling out with Peter. A falling out? I told him that I asked Ryan to be my best man, and, well, anyway, to cut a long story short, they're not coming to the wedding. Are you joking? I wish I was. <laughs> I'm speechless. That's pathetic. Well, he gets a little bit oversensitive sometimes. No, Kieran. He's a self-obsessed pillock who deserves a kick up the backside. Come on, he's a good mate. Yeah, when it suits him. It's no big deal. You're unbelievable, you. How can you be so calm about this? <sighs> Look, I know you're upset, but listen, it's only about me and you. It's our big day. It's our big moment. And if Peter doesn't want to be there to, to share that with us, well, that's his trouble. I just want everything to be perfect, that's all. It will be perfect. And you know that for sure, do you? Will you be saying I do? Of course I will. What sort of question is that? Well, then, the only person I need stood beside me on Friday is you. Everybody else is only there to make up the numbers, and that's how I feel about it. So no more talking about him, OK? OK. OK? Full steam ahead, then. Full steam ahead. <laughs> Have a pint, please, Stella. Have a pint? Not exactly the last of the big spenders, are we? Thought you'd be flashing your cash around, what with you in last night. Oh, what am I missing? Kirk had a bit of good luck with the cards, didn't you, Kirk? Oh, congratulations, Kirky. So tell me, how much did our dev lose? Uh, sorry, no offence, but a poker skill, we, we don't kiss and sell. Spill. I can't. She'll get it out for you eventually, so you might as well make it easier on yourself. Honestly, I haven't a clue. Yeah, right. I'll get the thumb screws. No, no, really, I left the game early. Now, that's funny, because Carl said you were the last man standing. It wasn't yours, was it? No. It was his. Can I go now? Scram. And don't you say a word to him. I hate being me sometimes. Oh, that crafty so-and-so. There you go. £29.50, please, lad. And they should keep you going for a while. Not if I've got anything to do with it. Have a good night. Doubtful, mate. Extremely doubtful. Hiya. Hey. Man on the edge. Yeah. But why keep his winnings a secret? I mean, it's not like he's tight or anything. Carl would give you the last pound in his pocket. Maybe he feels embarrassed or something. What do you mean? I don't know. Some men aren't always comfortable with success. Why oh, is Dev like that? You're joking, right? If Dev wins, the entire universe knows. It's like a peacock on steroids. <laughs> well. Whatever the reason, I am still entitled to my cut. Now you're talking. Hey, do you fancy a spot of late night shopping? You try and stop me. Mm. Go on. I know it sounds daft, but as far as winter holidays goes, I've always fancied one of them cruise ships that goes to the Arctic Circle. Whale watching and what have you. Oh, wouldn't it be very chilly? I imagine so, Emily. It is the North Pole. Play havoc with your joints. Emily, they don't expect you to roll. Dennis, where would you plump for? Oh, not sure, really. I haven't given it much thought. Uh, well, truth be told, considering where I were last year, this place seems pretty close to paradise. Here, here. I couldn't agree more. You the man. Uh, I'm sorry. Credit where credit's cheap. Please, I haven't the foggiest. Oh, I get it. You're playing it down. I respect that. Kirk, what on earth are you gibbering on about? Dennis is in the paper. It's all there in black and white. You're famous, pal. Oh, he's right as well. It has your name and everything. So it has. Thanks a bundle, Norris. So what happened with the Chris? You look all done in. Mm. He's gone. Oh, you don't sound too pleased about it. Well, I don't know, love. Maybe we're just a bit hard on him, you know? You changed your tune. No, I'm just saying that nothing's ever black or white, is it? I suppose. Still, it makes you appreciate what you have got. Mm, and you're not wrong there. <sighs> hey, where's Faye? Hmm. She's in the shed. Oh, not again. Mm, gets worse. She's only asked if she can move in. Oh. Mm, relax. I've managed to talk her out of it. Well, for now, anyway. No, no, no. This is because of me. No. Faye's a complex girl. Well, that's not an answer, and you know it. No, 
Look, if I'm causing unnecessary aggro, then we can make another arrangement. No, we'll make it work. No, no, and it doesn't no, work. We'll, we'll make it work. Fair enough. If you say so, you're the boss. Good. Because, <laughs> um, I want you to do something for me, and I won't be taking no for an answer. Okay, go on. Well, I realise that it's early days between us, but I'd like you and the girls to join us for Christmas dinner. Make it a proper occasion this year, all the trimmings. Sounds terrific. So you'll come, then? You try and stop me. <laughs> oh, look, if you're after the late edition, I sold the last one an hour ago. Yeah, thank you, but I've already purchased a copy. Uh, can I help you in any way? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm about to close the shop. Well, perhaps you can. It's rather a, a delicate matter. Oh, well, uh, discretion's my middle name. Between Norris and Cole, that is. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Cole. Uh, Norris, please. Uh, Norma. So how may I help you? Well, actually, I'm um, looking for someone. Oh, indeed. <laughs> oh, well, then you're speaking to the right person, because my knowledge of the local populace is second to none. I can imagine. And what's the name of this individual? A Mr. D. Tanner. Dennis Tanner. Then you know him? I, 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 I know of him. I, I, I mean, it's, it's a minor, but nonetheless important distinction. And you happen to know where he lives? Oh, well, that, 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 that's uh, a difficult question to answer. Really? I thought it was perfectly straightforward. Either you know where the man resides or you don't. If you'd allowed me to finish, I would have explained that Dennis, or old Tanner, as he's known round here, is a transient character uh, given to... Uh, moving around a lot. You make him sound like a tramp. Oh, I try to avoid such labels. I was led to believe that he, he'd settled on Coronation Street. Well, well like, 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 as I say, I mean, he, he moves hither and thither. That said, if our paths were to cross, I could always give him a message. It's your choice. You'll need my details. This is my direct line, mobile. And home number. Oh, I, I, I didn't get your surname. Oh, sorry. Fountain. <laughs> As in of youth. <laughs> I appreciate your time, Mr. Cole. Well, sorry I couldn't be of more assistance. Have a good evening. Clutch? No, I don't own a house or a car. I've been working on a cruise. Look, what's your problem? I'm only looking for a grand. I'm sorry, I'm just a bit stressed out. If there's anything you can do, I understand. Thanks for your time. So, what do you reckon to my new suit? Very nice. Yeah, not bad, is it? Got a few big day, but you know. Got a bit of road test it tonight. Why, where are you going? Oh, Eva's new wine contact's having a do in town, so I thought I'd better make a good impression. Bringing this place to another level, are we? Something like that. Look, with that in mind, how would you like a promotion? Head chef, starting today. Head chef? What about me man Fabian? Uh, well, I had to let him go. It's a long story. You interested? Definitely. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I mean, you tick all the right boxes. I don't know what to say. Say yes. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> about wages. <laughs> Look, we'll sort out the details first thing. Hi. Wow. Do you like it? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you're like a WMD. A what? A weapon of male distraction. <laughs> Thanks. Not too shabby yourself. We're all right then. Uh, yeah, uh, you'll be all right looking up, won't you? Yeah, no problem. OK, well, uh, top man. I'll see you tomorrow. Have fun. Yeah, we will. We will. Oh, oh, Dennis. Oh, thank goodness you're still here. I was terrified you'd, you'd, you'd run into each other and you'd undo all my good work. What are you on about? But th 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 there's a woman looking for you. A woman? <laughs> a most formidable woman. I, uh, I must admit, she, she, she rather unmanned me. Well, let's be honest, it isn't difficult. Oh, yeah, you may scoff at you didn't see her eyes. Dennis, why would a woman be trying to find you? Haven't a clue. Perhaps I could uh, shed some light on that. Uh, see, uh, according to her credentials, uh, 
She's from the benefits agency. Did she have a name? Norma Fountain. Cheers, gents. Yes, sir, what can I get you? Large scotch, please. Ice. Neat. Anything else? Just the last right, son. Oh. Another? A priest and a mind reader, you'll go far. One of those days, eh? Just a bit. Tell me about it. Supposed to be organising a surprise birthday bash for the mother-in-law. Oh, ouch. Well, Nick's Bistro's available for a event. No, event-hire. I've got the venue. I just need the grub, and I need it pronto. The bash is tomorrow, and I've already tried half a weather field. What kind of menu are we talking about? No fancy. A few hot and cold dishes, plenty of nibbles, volivants, drumsticks here. I've, uh, I've got a list. It's the Dragon-in-law's 75th. The caterer I was using got a tug from the health inspector. The Cripping of Crossley, they call him. If anyone's poisoning the old beer, it's me. Numbers? About 60, give or take. Sounds doable. You're a lifesaver. It's Bob, by the way. Kieran. Who's Nick, then? Co-owner. Fick the coin for the name. What's your budget, Bob? You tell me. 1,200. Behave. The other bloke wanted 800. The other bloke didn't have to work through the night. All right. And even grand? I'll pretend I didn't even hear that. 1,100 in cash, and I'm not even seeing a penny out of that. You're a hard man, Kieran. Fine. 1,100 all in. 300 in advance. Deal? Deal. Done. You won't regret it. You can't just ignore this. Watch me. Look. If you're in any kind of trouble at Why all... Why would you think I'm in trouble? Oh, come on, Dennis. I wasn't born yesterday. Norris said the woman was from the benefits agency. It's not worth concerning yourself about. Look, Dennis, I know you're a proud man. If it's just a matter of owing money, then... I said, forget it. Dennis, listen to me. There is nothing you can say that would make me think any less of you. Honestly, it's a fuss about nothing. And... It's a question of mistaken identity. Dennis, the woman is looking for you. Leave it, Rita. Please. As a favor to me. Not another word on the subject. Just so you know, I'm still here. I, uh, I, uh, knew you were in. Oh, we the little psychic. I could just see you sat in your favourite chair, light refreshment in one hand, singing other, trying to make them thoughts go away. And then I rock up and you're thinking, I need this chickadee like a hole in the head. Am I right? Well, apart from the chickadee bit, bang on. I knew it. It's a gift I've got. I can sniff misery out a mile off. Well, now that you see me, can you leave me alone with my misery? Sorry, can't do that. I don't need a shoulder to cry on. Not offering. I'm not in a great place, Bex. Trust me, mate. The view can't be worse than mine. Seriously, go on, let me in. Let's have a nice little drink together. Tell you what, if I don't make you smile every five minutes, then you can boot me out. (laughs) Oh, man, that was way too easy. Mm. I am so in for the night. Gorgeous, aren't they? How much? Check out the stitching. How much? What can I say? They just called to me. Stella, my darling, my little peach blossom, are you out of your tiny mind? Of course I'm going to need a new dress to go with them. What were you thinking? Oh, I wasn't thinking. Shoes are pure instinct, honey. Look, we're supposed to discuss stuff like this. Oh, yeah. Like we discussed your card win last night. Kurt told you. Oh, yeah. Sang like a canary. I'll kill him. Oh, don't be so dramatic. You've been rumbled now. Cough up. Oh, you have to see Peter Barlow about that. What? Well, I thought we were on a winning streak, so... Are you telling me you've blown all your winnings? Yeah. 
pretty much. What can I say? The book is called to me. Easy come, easy go. You've got the receipt, right? These shoes are going nowhere except on my feet. Oh, come on. Touch them and you're dead. Summer 1983. Beverly Rice. <laughs> she was top five material, man. She had incredible eyes and legs that just... She sounds lush, mate. Yeah. Yeah, she was. What were our songs? I don't know about you, but that's the way I always remember most things. What were they? Um, Blacks and Blues, Al Jolo. Mm. Um, SOS Band, Just Be Good To Me. Midnight Stars, I've Been Watching You. And last, but by no means least, Sexual Healing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we had some good times, man. Mm. So what happened then? It just didn't take. That wasn't what she was looking for. Sars. Them's the brakes, kid. Bumped into her a few years ago. Married, three kids. Didn't uh, didn't recognise her first until I clocked those eyes. Kind of just makes you, you know. You kind of think, what if, you know? No, don't even go there. Them two words are not a good double act. So sometimes, you know, I just like to ditch the playlist and keep the girl. Things are gonna get better, Lloyd. Do you reckon? Yeah, she doesn't want the one, not by a long shot. Maybe. Hey, there ain't no maybe about it. That woman with damaged goods, and that is coming straight from the expert. <laughs> I still love her, though. Yeah, I know. Hello? Kieran? Oh. Hey! God, you had me worried there for a second. I was expecting you back. Yeah, oh, forgot my laptop. Still here, then? No rest for the wicked. <laughs> uh, are you cooking something? <sighs> OK, you got me. I wanted it to be a surprise. Uh, look, Kieran, it's late. I'm tired. What's going on? Well, and please be aware that it's still a work in progress, but I thought I'd have a crack at revamping the menu. Now, I know it's presumptuous of me as I haven't signed on the dotted line yet, but uh, I couldn't help myself, so if I've overstepped the mark... Hey, no, 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 no! Don't apologise for showing initiative. I mean, that's why I got you on the team. <sighs> Look, why don't I uh, crack open a bottle of red and you can take me through your ideas? I oh, know, listen, no disrespect, but when I'm uh, experimenting, I need to be on my own. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you don't want some amateur messing about with your creative <laughs> mojo. <laughs> I get it. No, please, like I said, it's still a work in progress. Yeah, well, I mean, you're a genius. Look, uh, I'll get out your hair. I'm excited about this. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll keep me up to speed, won't you? All the way, brother. <laughs> OK, well, um, night then. I'll, I'll lock up. Good night. Hit me. I received the decree absolute from Steve today. No. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Now, this isn't uh, me dissing your situation, I wrote, cos I'm the first to say that what she did to you was wrong, but um, losing out to Tracy. Now, tell me, um, how does that work? You didn't lose out, Bex. You and Steve ate each other alive. She got my leftovers, then. <laughs> I've got enough him. I've got, I've got no work, I've got no prospects. Oh, I've got no babies. Oh, come on, back, don't go there. You, you see, you're a catch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you know Christian Bale, like, but yeah, at least you've got something to offer as a person. Is that why Cheryl binned me? No, nah, she didn't bin you, love. She just didn't realise what she had. I, you see, I, I knew what I had. I had it all. That's why my pain beats yours, my friend, every day of the week and twice on a Sunday. I wasn't aware it was a competition. Yeah, uh, it's tonight, baby. I 
I'm not even helping here, really, am I? Not so much, no. Mm. Enough said, Jimmy. Make this our song, shall we? Why not? Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Was. Would I be? Well, try in bed with me. I'm sorry, babe. Something came up. At this time, Karen, it's gone midnight. Oh, tell me about it. Well, what's going on? Nick took an outside catering gig as a favour to a friend is. Oh, so he's just lumbered you with it. It's no big deal. Well, how long's it going to take? <sighs> All night at this rate. Is he taking the Mickey out of you? You can't just spring something like this on you. It's all money in the pot. Oh, so. I still think you let people take advantage of you, though. Yeah, but well, at least I have you there to always take care of me. <laughs> <sighs> the next immunity challenge is coming up. Find out who takes one step closer to safety from the first vote off and catch up on all the rest of today's action. Tonight, 9 o'clock, ITV1 and ITV1 HD. And the boys are here next this evening on ITV1.